Mobile food giveaways are going to happen a lot less often in Butte County. Action News Now reporter Camille Acevedo is live at the Community Action Agency in Oroville. So Camille, how many people were still using this pandemic era help? I am told that anytime they hosted a food giveaway, meaning that they would grab food from this food bank here right behind me and distribute it uh, throughout the county, that over 200 vehicles of people would show up that are in need of food. I barely got food this month. And for people that are on social security disability, only get so much a month. That kid goes, that money only goes to some rent and bills. And you know, I barely have any left over. And if he gets so food stamps, you still don't get much. So I think that um, resources for food, for free food programs would help so much in, in Butte County. That's Annabella Ray, one of the countless people in Butte County who say they need help putting food on the table, but some of that help has run out. The Community Action Agency of Butte County CEO Timothy Hawkins tells me his agency recognizes the need for food distributions across the county and they will continue to hold them, but not as often as we are used to. The North State Food Bank distributions were funded by a state community development block grant that the county accepted in 2021. Butte County received more than $337,000, which paid for years of frequent mobile food bank distributions. Now that the grant has ended, the CAA will need to get money from somewhere else in order to keep offering free food. I think our community is only as strong as, as our most vulnerable people, and so the more we can lift those families up, we're lifting the whole community up. The agency hosted drive through giveaways in low to moderate income areas for food insecure households. At the Butte County Board of Supervisors meeting, they will discuss how the money was spent and all the accomplishments from this grant. Hawkins tells me that the agency is considering either fundraising or looking at alternative grants that will help keep the food distributions going. Live in Oroville, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Okay, thank you, Camille. And there are still two food distributions left in September. One is happening this Friday in Oroville. Just find this story on our Action News Now homepage for a schedule that lists the times and addresses.